Welcome back. Robbers struck a flat in Madgaon on Thursday. The flat owner claims that jewellery worth 5 lakh rupees was robbed in a daylight robbery. The owner says robbers took advantage of election as all the police officials are gearing up for the poll preparation. Robbers struck a flat of Surendra and Sunita Malkarnekar. They claim that robbers robbed gold worth around 5 lakh rupees. The couple claimed that incident must have taken place between 9 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. <laughs> Police have filed a panchanama and investigation is on. A reporter from Madgao, Samir Bhatt. With just a couple of days left for the assembly election, National Election Watch has appealed to the Goans to come out in large numbers and vote. For the first time in the history of assembly, the NGO has compiled details of all candidates which are in public domain. They have also urged the voters to be informed about the candidates by viewing these details. National Election Watch has uploaded details of all 215 candidates on its website www.myneta.info. These details like a list of assets, criminal records and other information is sourced from the affidavits sworn by the candidates. This is for the first time as you will appreciate this information is being made available to the press and electronic media and in the process we expect it to be the made available to the voters before they go to vote on 3rd. So that every voter in Goa has an informed choice. The NGO has also appealed the people to vote in large numbers. They hope this voting percentage would touch 80% this time from 72% in 2007. The number of voters who voted in 2002 elections were just 69%. In 2007 it was 72%. And I would want to believe myself that this time, in 2012, we should be coming close to 80%. Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalist Devendra Gaonkar. Body of a woman was recovered from Zwari River on Thursday. Sources say that the mother along with her son and a daughter committed suicide on Wednesday night from Bori Bridge. Police are still searching bodies of the two kids. This has come as a shock to the family and locals of Adpai village. Body of Sejal Naik, aged 35, was recovered from Zuwari River on Thursday. Some of the locals claim that she, along with her son Kalpesh, aged 6, and daughter Shweta, aged 3, committed suicide on Wednesday night. Ponda police and Marine police had started their joint search and rescue operation on the same night. However, bodies of two kids have still not been recovered. They are residents of Arpai. Ponda police are investigating the case. <laughs> I don't politics. Some suspicious slips were detected at a general store in Baina. Election Commission's flying squad at Vasco raided a shop owned by PG Nadar on Thursday. 
He is accused of providing food items to people free of cost upon giving a slip. The slip carries text in Tamil. Police have sealed the shop. P.J. Nadar is a native of Tamil Nadu. He has been residing in Goa for past more than 25 years. He is accused of providing food items to the people free of cost. Sources inform that some people go to his shop with the slip and they are being provided with the food items free of cost. The slip carries some text in Tamil. Flying squad from Vasco immediately raided the shop and found the slips in possession of the owner. I found out that uh, if any person is coming with slip, there is no uh, this thing. Means, uh, koi bhi ek kagaj leke aayega aur usko kuch bhi de, de nahi sakta na. Agar aayega to pura item list leke aayega. Not a simple ones uh, paper and written something zero three or zero two. So there is something suspicious in that. Voters ko. I think that there is some suspicious. People are coming with that paper. And he is uh, giving, he is taking money from that and giving something. The owner P G Nadar was then arrested by the police. When questioned, he said that people come with the list of commodities and buy the goods and pay the amount. However, all the slips had same text, same commodities, and the same handwriting. P G Nadar is currently in police custody, and for the investigation is in progress. Our reporter in Vasco Surendra Madkekar. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.